Good day, poker peeps. This is Sky with Smart Poker Study. Thank you very much for tuning in to a little Poker Tracker 4 instructional video. Today, we're looking at the Statistics tab, uh, and we're looking at the different group by options right here. So this is currently selected to the position group by option. And this is what I use most of the time. I love the positional outlook because you should be a different player or you should play differently based on the position that you're dealt. As you can see, my VPIP steadily goes up. My PFR steadily goes up as position gets later. And I'm VPIPing a little bit and, uh, and PFRing in the blinds as well, right? Three betting, I'm three betting most of the time in the better positions. Not so often, I, I could probably increase my three bet uh, out of the blinds right here. Just not three bet restealing as often as I should. But so that's why I look I like looking at this report. I can look at how I'm playing positionally and to see where I should possibly increase the hands I play or maybe decrease them. And as you can see, uh, this month so far, I've been really restricting my ranges. I'm a 13-10 player, very darn tight aggressive, almost on the verge of nitty. Uh, I think next month in August, I'm going to be bumping this up and then start expanding my ranges just a little bit. I kind of have the way I play month by month kind of varies a little bit based on my goals, based on what I'm studying, what I'm trying to improve and trying to work on. But so for most of you, looking at position will be the best way to do it. Let's say you want to today, you want to review three betting hands. What you can do is filter for three bet preflop and then go by position. Like I would generally not go from, oh, button, let's review two hands on the button, review one hand in the cutoff, review two hands in the big blind. Now, nah, because I'm just looking at this month, I only have 44 hands to review. I'm going to review all 12 of these, all seven, all 14, all 11 but do them one position at a time. So I'm focused on just three betting out of the button, looking at the opponents that I have position against, who am I three betting, like really diving into all of these three betting hands uh, and then do that by position. I think you gain so much more when you kind of narrow your focus down to just one thing at a time. And so that's what the position tab helps me to do. But let's start looking at the other tabs, which I don't use often, but we can discuss them. So, oh, clear the filter right there. So if we're looking at the stake for this month, you can say I play mostly 10 NL, some 25 NL this month, but I've been playing mostly fast fold games, some six maxes, some full ring games as well. Now, this grouping is only pretty helpful if you really want to see how you play at different stakes and different table types and differentiate. You could see I've a little bit tighter at 25 NL, but I start loosening up a bit, at a, especially at that six max uh 10 nl games right if you want to kind of see how you're playing at different stakes this is how you would do it but generally i don't find this all that useful because when i'm looking at this stake right here 402 hands but these are all from every single position at the table right i'd have to actually open it uh double click it take a look at the hand to see what position i'm in maybe i don't want to review any big blind hands right now maybe i'm really focused on my button play but when i just open up a random hand you know you don't know what you're going to be at uh, uh, when you look at the stake view. The next one is position full ring. Now this of course is perfect for all you full ring players. Lists all nine positions, just like that prior positional tab that I use most of the time. But if you wanna see how you play under the gun versus under the gun one and all these other positions, this is how you're going to do it here. Uh, let's see, next up is by session. So this breaks it down for your play for each uh, session, every time you sit down at the table. Now. Uh, yesterday, for example, when I sat down at the table, I played for just 19 minutes, but I played three different tables, 167 hands, some losses and everything. Now, if you want to specifically dive into one session, this could be helpful, especially if you play just one session this day. But you can see yesterday, for example, I played three sessions, reviewing these hands down here, different stakes, different table types and everything, maybe not so helpful. What I prefer, if I'm looking at it by session, I go to table session. So this on the 28th, we're gonna see there's three table sessions here. So on the, oh, let's scroll up. On the 28th, we've got three table sessions so I can break them down and look at based on losses. Maybe I know yesterday I was tilting during this blitz poker session right here. These tables were fine, but something happened right here and I got sucked out on by a fish. My pocket ace is lost and I want to kind of dive into those hands. So let's take a look. Let's find a hand with a big loss. I wasn't tilting yesterday. I was just using, okay, let's say this hand right here really started to tilt me. And 
I want to kind of analyze my tilt. I want to figure out what is going on. So I can, of course, review this hand, double click it, see what's going on. But one thing I like to do is I'll sort it. You can see when it's sorted by date, it goes from earlier hands up to the later ones. Let's flip this right here. So let's find that King Jack hand once again. Let's say I was tilting, or this hand put me on tilt, this little loss that I suffered. And I know that over the next, for the rest of my session, I was tilting and making bad choices. I can highlight all of them, right click, hit replay uh, hands right here, and it's gonna start with the first to the second to the third going down the, the, the road. So the hand prior to this, I lost with King Jack suit and I went on tilt. And then now I can start reviewing these hands and see what's going on. Maybe I made a terrible decision here to fold, maybe to call, whatever I ended up doing. So looking at it by table session is a good way to see your possible mindset mistakes uh, that occurred during one session of play. Now next is by date, and I never use this. It just goes by month, right? So if we looked at all year, we would see each month broken out. I don't find this report helpful at all. But the next one that I do find helpful is the starting hands hold'em. So let's take a look. We're still looking at this month of July 2020. So you can see if we scroll up top, ooh, pocket aces, dealt pocket aces 16 times. We can see my profitability right here. All of the aces hands pop up. And then we can see how I played pre-flop and then street by street and the board texture right here. And this is a really simple way across all positions just to see how I played these various hands. If I want to review these three losing hands, great. If I want to review my biggest winning hands, I can review, you know, these four right here. What about a hand that people have often have difficulty with? Pocket tens. Well, you can see I didn't play them so well. It's only been 11 hands this month. Oh, wow. And I've been dealt aces 16 times. That's nice. I'm getting a nice run of aces right there. But maybe tens, or maybe for some people, those pocket jacks are a tough one, right? Well, you can go through and start reviewing. Eh, we only have two losses. Let's go back to tens. So I have a good number of hands to review right here. I called, called, raised, called, raised, call, raised. I'm not sure about these calls. I can review these calling hands. Hit the control key as you select them. Right click, replay hands. And then we can go through these three calling hands. Maybe this would have been a better three bet. Obviously, it's not a fold. Pocket tens is way too good to fold here. But the, my options are to fold, call, or raise, and I elected to call. Maybe this would have been a better spot to 3-bet against this player, even though I'm out of position right now, right? We can move on to the next hand, review this one. Oh, he raised. Why did I just call? Uh, well, I don't know much about him. He raised on the bigger side. Sure, I just called to set mine right here, right? What about the third losing hand? He raised what I play aces. Ooh, pretty loose, aggressive player right here. Why did I just call? I should have three bet this guy, right? Put him to the test. He folds 52% of the time. If he can fold um, uh, like a hands with decent end equity against tens, if he could fold his king queens, his king jacks, his queen jacks right now, so be it. And I take down a nice little four big blind pot, right? But that doesn't mean three betting is the better play. Maybe calling is the better, but the only way I'm going to really figure that out is by analyzing these losing hands. So that's what I like about this. Now, some people will say, hey, I love Jack 10 suit. I play it every single time. Well, you can take a look at your Jack 10 suited profitability. Oh, I'm actually losing right here. What's going on? Let's review these losing hands as well. And then lastly, of course, is starting hands hold'em, which I don't play hold'em. Uh, I play it for fun sometimes, but I don't have any hands in my database this month. I'm sorry, Omaha, I meant to say. Don't have any hands for that. But those are the different group buy options within the statistics tab and how you're going to use them. So what I recommend over your next few study sessions is try to study with each of these. See how you like them. See what you might find useful and not useful. And of course, the most useful for me, for myself, and for my students going through their databases is everything by position right here. Because position, of course, you know, position is king in poker. So this is a very useful report. Alrighty, if you enjoyed this video, if you learned a little something from it, please hit that subscribe and that thumbs up button directly below. And I'll see you in the next one.